in this scenario we are going to do change detection for aws ec2 vms the problem can be solved with two pipelines um, in the first pipeline what we are going to do is get data for ec2 vms from multiple regions and store the data in a baseline data set and imagine after a few days some of the states have changed for these vms and we want to know what has changed maybe some vms got stopped or maybe some vms got started or maybe some of the the type instance type has changed for some of the vms what are all the changes that is what we want to detect uh, using these pipelines so the second pipeline actually gathers the current data from the same regions and then it compares the data with a baseline data set and optionally the results will be pushed to a visualization tool like elastic search and kibana or to cloud fabrics dashboards so let's go and see how we can do this and execute the pipelines right now uh, we are seeing this ai ops studio and uh, we have this first pipeline here which is the baseline uh, establishment pipeline and you see that we are here um, getting the data from multiple regions and then selecting few columns that are of interest to us and then storing it in a temporary or storing it in a baseline data set right? so i'm going to execute this and while it is executing this is what you can see the the flow and we got 72 rows which means 72 vms we have the data right then these are all the the vms that we got so so let's focus on one of the region which is a south region ap south region where we have eight vms and, and let's focus on this particular vm which is ending with 7bd3 it's currently in running state and i'm going to show you this vm actually from aws console and right now we are in the ap south region and you can see that this is the 7bd3 vm in running state and that's what we got the running state. So what I'm going to do is select this particular VM and then just for, for our demo purpose, I'm going to stop this instance. You see now it is in stopping state in a couple of seconds, it should go to stop to stay, okay? So now let's go back uh, to our studio and then run the, the base, the compare to baseline, right? So, so here, what we are doing is again, getting the current data, but now we are comparing it with the baseline data set here. See this, we are taking the differentiation or difference and then pushing the results to the changes data set. So when I execute this, now we should only see one result, one row, which actually highlights the, the VM that was, uh, that was stopped. Right? So let's go and check the data. exactly so 7b d3 that's the same vm we were looking at right now it's stopped and the state name is what it's actually changed right so this is how we can easily detect changes that are happening in vms or um or any other kind of stateful systems like clusters and uh, so on 